Hi, Alina here with HandmadePrettyGifts.com and today I want to show you how to make this pretty box. You can fill this with uh, Christmas goodies or cards or whatever you might have. This is adorable. This is really, really cool. And um, to make this project, what uh, I used, I have some uh, cardstock from Stampin' Up! And uh, the box that I'm going to make today is going to be uh, red. I need some Whisper White to stamp my sentiments. And uh, I'm going to use this crumb cake for my uh, handle. You're going to need some tape. I'm using Fast Fuse from Stampin' Up. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a uh, scoring board that I have right here. Um... You're going to need a bone folder, a scoring tool, a piercer. Uh, you're going to need um, sentiment, like stamps. Uh, these are the two sets that I'm going to use for my project. And I uh, stamped already this uh, gingerbread man. And I am going to use this sentiment from the Candy Cane Christmas. This is Cookie Cutter Christmas. And from the Candy Cane Christmas, I am going to use Christmas treats just for you. For my previous box, I used this one, Christmas greeting, with something for eating, and obviously the gingerbread man. So um, that's what I'm gonna do today. You're gonna need some ink. I'm using the stamping uh, up uh, pads. Uh, this is cherry cobbler and crumb cake. Okay, you're gonna need some uh, papers to decorate your box, and I'm going uh, with the designer paper from the candy cane uh, line from um, Stampin' Up! It's beautiful, double-sided, so it's going to go really well on my box. Uh, I'm also using some of this uh, dots, the glue dots. These are very strong, and uh, I use those to hold my box together right here. Uh, as I said, these are very strong. And also, I'm going to use a corner rounder. These are not Stampin' Up! But these are the ones that I used. This, these are the ones that I have, so I decided to use. And uh, last but not the least, this um, punch that comes from Stampin' Up! for the Gingerbread Man. It cuts beautifully. So let's get started. Okay, so for my box, I'm going to use uh, the red paper. And I need to score this at three and a half on the long side. I score it three and a half, seven and a half, then I turn it on the short side and I score a three, and a five and a half. And that's all I need a scoring board for. Now before you fold, on the score lines, I will take a pair of scissors and you will have to cut right here, right here, right here, and right here. Okay, so I score my paper and I rounded the corners. Now I will go ahead and cut on the score line all the way to here. You can use a paper trimmer or you can use a pair of scissors. I have a very good pair of scissors and I will use this. you're cutting all the way to the middle line. So now you're ready to fold on your scored lines. If you have a bone folder, this makes your lines very crisp and very nice. Okay, so my basket is ready to put together. It's going to look like this. It's a very simple project, amazingly simple. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and I will glue all my papers together. Okay, so I have one that's going right here, one that's going right here, and one that's going in the middle. The same on the bottom part
said for the middle to make it more interesting, I'm just gonna flip the paper and I'm gonna use this pattern. It's gonna look pretty. Okay, before I do that, I have to round all this corner pieces and then I'll go ahead and glue them together. Here are all the papers glued in place. And now I will have to decide how big I want this box to be. Uh, to glue it together, the easiest way that I found is to use this glue dots. And just the little dot goes right here on this corner. Decide how big the opening wants you want it to be. You want it to be, and then you need a glue dot right here. And that is beautiful. I will go ahead and repeat the process on this side. Now my box is ready. I need to add the handle to it. So I have this piece of cardstock that's 11 inch by two inches. And I'm using the same designer series paper, but I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna use this side. And this is uh, 10 and three quarters by one and three quarters. So just a quarter inch shorter than the uh, cardstock. Before I'm going to put it on, I'll just go ahead and round all the corners, the paper, the designer series paper, as well as the car stock. So here's my handle. I uh, rounded all the corners and then uh, I will bend it up a little bit to make it more flexible. There are two ways to do it. Take a bone folder break the fiber so it's easier or if you don't have a bone folder just use the side of your table and just pull it down just hold it here and just pull it down and it shapes very nicely so I'll go ahead and attach the handle to my basket and I'm going to use the glue dots. Again, I'm using these because they're very strong. They hold really well, so I will use two. Probably get away with one, but I will just do two. And it'll probably look pretty right here. Just to the other side. And there's my beautiful basket. Now I need to attach uh, my sentiment. I already stamped the sentiment and I stamped my little um, guy. I will just attach him right here like that with the glue dot again. So I'll put a glue dot on. I'm just going to go ahead and attach this like this. And now I need some twine. I'm going to use this beautiful twine. It's white with a metallic uh, red uh, thread. So it's really, really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and cut a little piece. I need a hole, obviously, so I'm just gonna pierce a hole. I'm gonna wrap my twine. I'll just tie it up right here. Just make a knot, holds together nicer. And again, tie another knot, like loose. And then I'll tie a bow. Let's see if I can do that. Pretty. 
and there is my finished project. Uh, as I said, you can fill this with Christmas treats just for you. And this makes a beautiful present, Christmas present. Uh, you can use this box uh, for other occasions. You can do Christmas treats. You can do uh, happy birthday treats. You can do um, just thank you if you want to give a nice, uh, you like to bake and you like to give treats for any occasions. This would be really good. Now Christmas is coming, so I'm just uh, creating uh, Christmas presents for myself to give away to my friends and family. Uh, but thank you for uh, stopping by and I hope you enjoy this project. This is very easy to make and uh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, this is Alina with uh, HandmadePrettyGifts.com and I hope to see you soon.